and we've got focus here starting up with a farcia versus his opponent today happy who start things off with a dk focus here and on your screen taking up the first creep and i'm grateful for all the people that are subscribing to the channel make sure you stay to the end because that's another silver highlights another banger taking place here at tight hunches and focus is now making a move on to his natural and let's just go and follow up happy who goes that's very unorthodox actually i don't see that a lot being uh, done by any player really on the warcraft scene and happy comes first for the goblin merchant in the middle and that's dk level two pass here for focus already level two and it looks like uh, focus gonna be going for the traditional one grunt into headhunters i have to say that's focus's favorite build perhaps in his entire repertoire of uh play styles that he's got in his sleeves i see him doing this the most and that's the one he's going for again it's called a claw and a circlet here is happy now arriving with a dk okay lightning bouncing off and happy bloodthirsty wants to kill some headhunters we all know that those headhunters are very very squishy especially when they face happy and those ghouls happy scout acolyte from the start of the game still living by the way and now he splits the ghouls chasing the headhunters look at the splits nice stun by focus as well agro's the creep here and snared one of the ghouls and then on the other side happy's chasing the fast here with the dk uh, this is great, brilliant stuff from both players. Tier 2 Graveyard. Tier 2 for Focus as well. And it's interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, whether Focus is going to get a Raiders at Tier 2. And Spirit Walkers. Or perhaps he might opt out for handful of weavings and kodu beasts as well that's another thing that is kind of gaining popularity in the orc meta on the other hand happy a player's forces are under attack. it's curious to see how he's gonna transition as well into the mid game he's going for a graveyard right now which means of course the favorite fiends for most undead but depends it could be also Gargos. Usually when players transition to Gargos, we see double, sometimes even triple crypt already. That's not the case at the moment. So perhaps fiends. Fiends and statues. Um but let's see. Happy loves his destroyers as well. Focus almost level three on the fast here. Happy's not that far behind either. There's the level three for the fast here. Nice. Happy steals that with a coil there from the distance. And there's tier 2 ready. Graveyard is ready. And we're going for the Lich next. Meanwhile, focus with the Shadow Hunter. Beast Tree as well. Oh, nice. Happy looks like it's coming for the little green cam here in the bottom. Right next to his base. And I have to say, the early game goes for Happy, really. Uh, focuses early game ideally would have been to slow the DK leveling up that is not the case Happy's already level 3 on the death knight now focus going for the laboratory here Happy use the illusion to scar as well shadow hunter boots a quill for last plus 6 nice nice item for focus here and there's more headhunters. Beast Tree is ready. And let's see. I'm very curious to see what's going to be. Okay, Wivens. Wivens, so no raiders or spirit walkers. There's the slaughterhouse for Happy. And going into tier 3 as well. Lich is now out. Happy's going to come and check this expansion. And he's going to cancel it. Gets rid of uh, the acolyte as well. Probably just gonna take this peon as well. Yeah, not wasting his time at all. Coil. Meanwhile, focus going on. 
for the other gold mine. Sea turtle level 7. Shadow hunters already level 2. Okay, he's got the hex by the way, focus. A big heal potion here from this camp. He's got the hex and he goes the heal wave as well. Now the DK gets hex, frost nova on the shadow hunter. Focus with a speed scroll though. Continues to chase. Happy looks not too worried about it. Focus coming for this green cam, but Happy is still nearby, trying to challenge Focus as well. And there are the Weavens now, who are going to speed up the whole creeping process. Happy steals that away with a Frost Nova. Nice, 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 nice. Now Happy coming for the orange cam, just further behind, closer to his base. Focus goes for the red camp here. Okay. So that's the one with the item. Oh, Hellstone. Okay. Happy with a parry at the vitality here. Or oh, the Lich. And the Lich is getting close to level 2 now. Here are the Gargoyles. Okay. So now we know what Happy is doing. Oh, but a coil comes on time after this. Okay, landing there. And that go go got Hex first. Okay, Happy into tier 3. Now we got the Orb of Corruption. And we got the Dreadlord coming next. Plus the Ghoul Frenzy upgrade. Already, Focus is going into tier 3 himself. And there are the Kodo Beasts now. I'd like to see a second Beast Tree for Focus, by the way. That would be nice. And that means that we go going to see Berserkers as well in this game. So I guess a good mixture of Berserkers, Kodo Beasts, and Wivens as well for Focus. Which is not a bad choice, necessarily. I wonder if he's going to go for a TC as well, adding a third hero feel like he needs to against undead triple hero i feel like he needs to and let's focus on happy for a second he comes for the giant sea turtle and picks up a big invo potion on the dreadlord but happy can potentially expand here if he wants focus one enough time for this expert to go up okay so he's a bit late with the tech but at least he's got an expo which he's about to start mining from now. There are the peons coming. Nice. Okay. But I still say happy is with the lead. Because I don't believe the economic advantage is uh, that severe yet in favor of focus. Uh, it could become the case later on, depends on how late the game goes. But this game has been very fast paced so far, I have to say. Despite the fact that they've been creeping mostly, there hasn't really been a massive brawl yet between the two. We are like 10 minutes into the game, just about 11, and both players are pretty much setting themselves up for where they want to be later in the game. Now, focus creeping this gold mine as well, which is happy's natural usually. Uh, there's a gloves of haste on the floor and he's doing it with the wolves Which are at level two by the way Okay, happy transfers the big info on the DK from the dreadlord who's got a Flute as well a and a heal scroll Focus buys a heal scroll on the Farsi himself and focus looks like he's coming for the attack He's going to try and do as much damage as possible inside the undead base. There's another statue. Here lightning, one acolyte falls down. Gargo comes out, the creep gets hexed. But then dispelled by the destroyers. Nice play by Happy with the destroyers. Here are the berserkers. The tier 3 comes for the orcs as well. The berserker upgrade is ready. And was called upon as well. But Happy... Cleverly making some destroyers now for dispelling that hex. Which is super important, I feel like. And we got more Coder Beast. And now a Raider. 
Okay. Focus is doing kind of a, a mixture of pretty much everything. There's the grunt still living from the early game. There's pretty much everything in this army apart from spirit walkers at this point and shamans. <laughs> A jack of all trades, eh? See, there's an interesting case to make about... You probably heard the saying, oh, jack of all trades is never really... You're never good, basically, at one specific thing. But you kind of, like... Okay, at all the things combined. But people don't talk about when... There are cases... Okay, and this happens a lot. There are cases where... You could be a jack of all trades... But you are actually insane in all of those trades. Meaning you're not just doing okay in all of them. You're not just all around okay. You are all around fucking awesome. Right? I don't know how how many of you guys are following like uh, UFC or like any sort of martial arts. But there's a guy called Gordon Ryan uh, in the USA. He's... Probably at this point the greatest grappler ever. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy. And the thing with him is uh, he started over Jack of all trade. But he's so good at everything right now that by him being the Jack of all trades, he's just unbeatable. He's absolutely dominating the best of the best there were prior to him. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys. But anyway, back onto the game. We got the first big brawl really here taking place next to Focus's Expo. Happy responded to the early aggression from Focus into the main base, trying to take down the Expo. But Focus coming and defending. And I have to be honest, he defended well here. He actually has got more units still. He's uh, leading with the supply really. So not, not a bad fight for Focus at all. And this by no means was bad fight for Happy either. But I have to say, it's, it's slightly leaning towards uh, focus, really, because Happy lost a lot in this fight. Happy really lost a lot. And here we go now, focus recovering those berserkers. There's another raider on the way. He's going for the reinforced defenses, and he's already uh, one on the attack here here we go the berserkers you can see it Players forces are under attack. okay let's go back up to happy who's taking on the marketplace here okay i didn't really see what he picked up there that was too quick for me ice but he sold the item as well so it doesn't matter now not in his possession anymore Okay, Dreadlord is level 3 as well, by the way. Sleep at 1, carrying swamp at 2. Focus sends the wolves back at the main base. Another ghoul and a statue. Queued up for Happy. More raiders and berserkers for Focus. Happy comes for the Granite Golem, level 9, up in the north. And that is the second red camp on the map. The first one Focus already took. Focus is attacking the main base now. Happy seems to want to creep this first and then go to the main base. He's got a TP now. And let's go over to the undead base now because Happy will be here any moment. Oh! At this pipe. For Happy on the Dreadlord. We got Coil and Unholy Aura at 2 each. And also Frost Nova at 2. Dark Ritual and Frost Armor at 1 on the Lich. Interesting decision again for Happy. And in this scenario, actually, a lot of people will tell you if you're new to Warcraft and you are uh, facing an Orc player as, you, as an Undead, loads of people will advise you to go for Frost Armor. Focus on Frost Armor as your second ability on the Lich. Anyway. Happy finds that gloves of haze that were here on the floor earlier from when focus was uh, creeping with the wolves and finish off this gold mine. There's two more green camps left on the map available for both players to creep out if they want. And now, mana potion on the DK. 
Now I kind of... I feel like focus is not... Really, he did well in the fights. But I think missing that third hero is going to be a huge disadvantage. The later this game goes on. Unless focus... Finds a way of finishing this game off here somehow. Then... I think he's going to be in all kinds of problems later on. That was a dead raider there. More carrying swarms are coming. Chain line is healing ways. There's so much going on. X on the DK. He's in trouble. Happy pulls him back. More chain lightning coming. Another ghoul falls down. Another one. Oh my days. There's so much coil on that wind raider. Happy also finds a lot of kills here. Now the dreadlord was at the front. Took a bit of damage himself. He continues to chase though. All the bees are not snacking at the moment. Ooh, and finally this grunt falls down. Farsia level 5 here. Oil and Karen Swarm taking another Weaven out of the race. And it's a lot of back and forth now. Both players are kind of like tippy toeing. Hit and run. More Berserkers and Raiders are arriving for focus to the aid. Farsia at the Goblin Merchant. Perhaps a heal scroll, yeah. Heal scroll comes from uh for the fast yeah. But happy with the coil and carrying some taking these raiders so quick out of the game, man. And I believe focus maybe it's worth of quitting going for those raiders. We got another expo coming up for focus, by the way. And that could be that could be actually a possibility for focus due to him lacking a third hero it's clearly he's not going for a third hero now he's way too late in the game for him to uh, get a third hero but if he ends up in a situation where he prevents happy from expanding here or here And he dries him out. He literally bleeds him out of resources. Then he is very much alive in this game. There you go. That's exactly what he did now. Check this gold mine. Making sure Happy is not expanding. Meanwhile, he's got a burrow here as well, which is always nice. Uh, I'd like to go for some watchtowers as well. Coming at this uh, stage of the game. Just to make sure are you are nice and safe. And we got another fight, looks like, here in the middle by the tavern. Uh, let's follow that one up. There's another raider again though, but it looks like Focus uh, will go in, will go for a lot of Berserkers from now until the end of the game. More and more are arriving. Focus is at 79 food supply right now. And if, I, if I'm Focus, I want to fight right now. I want to find Happy and I want to fight him right now. 80 supply versus 58. I think Focus can do that easy at the moment. Honestly. He sends a dire wolf to scout here. Just to see what's up. And here we go. And I think that's another mistake now in the gameplay of Focus. First big mistake I believe is not going for a third hero. Second big mistake is I think he needs to fight now. If he allows Happy... To get a higher food supply. I don't think there's going to be a way back for focus. And also those heroes are continuing to leveling up. Happy's running out of money. So focus needs to use this. He needs to utilize this really. Looks like he's not doing it. But the heroes though. We got DK5, 4 and 4. Versus 5 and 4. And there you go. Those raiders are just falling out. Like potato bags. Literally. Look at this. That's like second in a row in a space of like five seconds. And the berserkers as well. Happy is doing well. Targeting the units one by one. There's more mana on the DK and the dreadlord as well. And I think that Hadgar's pie being side by the way is the perfect item specifically in this game for happy and happy is expanding here as well focus needs to scout this 
It's called the second expansion. So it's going to be mining from three gold mines soon. Or let's call it two because the main one will expire. But he needs to see this and prevent it from happening. The quicker he does it, the higher his chances of success. Doesn't seem so like the case at the moment at least. And I, I honestly, I just, okay, he sends the wolves now. But they got dispelled by the destroyers and now he must know even though he didn't scout this he needs to know he needs to be at least guessing surely that that is where happy is expanding at the moment which is a smart choice for happy as well it's less likely to for a player to scout this rather than this now he's at the focus expansion here focus is taking his time but the burrow is down already now happy is taking those peons and here we go. Focus is here. Happy now is cornered. Focus is still waiting. I'm sorry guys, I don't I don't wanna sound like I'm judging Focus or anything, but like he's in my opinion, just observing, he is making way too many mistakes here. He allows Happy too much. And now he corners him. Which is fair enough, but I feel like he should have done this a bit quicker. Like, he's... I don't know. I don't know. I get the whole position in your army correctly, things and all that, but it's it's just like way too too much times he's giving happy. He's still not scouting this, but okay, okay. He sees it, he finds it, and happy unsummons the gold mine as well. Pass here with an orb of lightning worth mentioning. Also, Inver Potion and Double Heal Scroll. Shadow Hunter still got the Health Stone from the early games. Got the Mana Potion and another Scroll of Healing. And I have to say, despite everything, things are still looking well for focus. However, Happy's got Inver Potions on all the heroes. And a big one for the Lich as well. Mana Potion on the DK. A mana potion, um, not mana potion, but a Cadgas pipe, which gives you the brilliant, brilliant, brilliant Sora. And how happy is going for this expo? And if, if I'm focused, honestly, okay, he takes the crypt out, and how happy is without money all of a sudden? That's it. The mere two forty gold that he has, he doesn't have it already. He just uh, buys from the shop. So now Focus needs to concentrate. There's only one thing Focus needs to do from now on. Make sure you don't get your hero kills. Your hero killed. Okay? If Happy nukes those heroes and kill them, Focus is in trouble. Okay, mana potion consumed by the DK. So there's no more mana. There's a heal potion though. And Invo, okay. And there you go. Happy knows this. I told you. Happy knows it. That's exactly what he's doing. He tried to nuke the Farseer. Farseer with a small Invo though. Heal scroll consumed. Focus is still hanging on nicely here. Heal wave is coming from the shadow. But Happy's so strong with those. Three heroes and a statue. That's all Happy needs. I'm so happy needs to win a fight. It's ridiculous, but it's true. Focus, I'm telling you guys, Focus needs to stay composed as long as he does that. He's winning the game, trust me. All he needs to do, stay focused. Don't allow your heroes, heroes to get killed. And you're going to win the game. Happy is running out of options. But this is still happy. Let's not forget. Look at how he's taking those units. How much longer can he sustain this just with the statues? Perhaps he will be wise by focus. If he just engage. Just engage like you're respecting him too much. Takes those statues out. There's no more money for happy to replace them. Now the dreadlord's in trouble. Happy pulls him back. That's brutal speed on the dread as well though. Which is a nice move for Happy. Chain Lightning coming. X on the DK. Nice. Okay. This is what Focus was supposed to be doing a long time ago. But he's still not really committing enough. I feel like he's... I don't know. He looks like he's afraid. 
Uh, listen, guys, playing against Happy, I'm sure everyone is afraid. Outside of Linden 1 to 0, probably Moon as well, because Moon is just like, fair enough, it's not the same, but it's. Oh, the fast here! And there's the first nuke. And that's a dead fast here. Now the Shadow Hunter put to sleep. Hold on, DK level 6. All of a sudden. Oh, the split of a second and Happy takes the Farseer out. Now Focus needs to be very, very, very careful. And Snare's on the Lich. Can he take the Lich? He oh, hold on. Shadow Hunter, where is he going? And that's the thing with uh, Focus sometimes, guys. He does. There's the Frost Nova. There's the Sleep. He gets around it now. Oh, my days. Oh my days, he's happy actually doing this. He kills the Shadow Hunter as well. And now Focus is playing StarCraft. He got the Farseer reviving at the altar. And I think he should have invested money to buy the Farseer from the tavern already. Oh my days. Oh my days. If Happy wins this game. After looking for so long, actually, the Focus had everything under control. But I told you guys, he allowed him too much. And basically what's happening is Focus beat himself. Hold on though, he still got a lot of army. If he can wait enough time for the heroes to come back. He's got the money as well to do it. We're running, chasing the statues. We're happy he's still here with those heroes. Taking unit by unit and that's the G. G.